greater Fort Lauderdale is the perfect place for fun in the sun. 24 miles of beaches with blue water and golden sands, all the way to the Everglades. Travel by boat. It's easy to see why the area is known as both the Venice of America and the yachting capital of the world. Enjoy waterfront dining or immerse yourself in the arts. All right. Explore the area's 31 neighborhoods and you'll find that they all have a diverse, inclusive spirit welcoming everyone under the sun. Come along with me to discover Greater Fort Lauderdale. I'm Danella Richard. I've made a career traveling the world. I've worked for some of the biggest names in travel. And now, I've traded in my business suit for a swimsuit. Swimming with the sharks, swinging at the edge of the world, throwing back a few shots, or shall I say spirits. <laughs> Eating some of the best cuisine, and even making a few furry friends along the way. And now, since everything we know about travel has changed, I invite you to come along with me and rediscover the world. This week I'm in Fort Lauderdale and it's the perfect destination for fun in the sun. Stretching from 24 miles of beaches with blue waters and golden sands all the way to the Everglades. This diverse destination offers something for everyone under the sun. So come along with me and let's visit Fort Lauderdale. I'm Joe Cox, President and CEO of the Museum of Discovery and Science here in downtown Fort Lauderdale. The museum and our AutoNation IMAX theater are a wonderful place to spend the day with children, families, really exploring everything from dinosaurs to hands-on experiences, a maker space, early childhood exhibits, and of course, a great store and cafe as well. So have you ever imagined that you would be inside the mouth of a life-size megalodon? No. <laughs> this is no. amazing. Yeah, so this is a real animal that would have swum here in Florida millions of years ago. We never had dinosaurs in Florida because at the time Florida was underwater and perfect home to fish like the megalodon. Wow. The Museum of Discovery and Science is as dynamic as the community it serves. Whether you're a child or an adult, you'll enjoy meaningful learning experiences. With highlights like the otters at play, to the aviation station exhibits where you can dream of being a pilot. It's a great space for kids to imagine being an architect, engineer, or an artist. This interactive learning experience 
contributes to South Florida's building a stronger workforce for generations to come. Hi, I'm Dirk Flanagan from Riviera by Fabio Viviani. We're here on Fort Lauderdale Beach in the Marin Hotel. Uh, it's a Mediterranean Italian coastal restaurant. Uh, tons of Mediterranean influence, uh, major, major Italian influence, and fresh, fresh ingredients is what we rely on here. A coastal Italian concept located inside Hotel Marin, blending the charm of traditional Italian flair with the structured elegance of Fort Lauderdale. Today I've created or made a couple of dishes for you. We've got the Popete de Fabio, or Fabio's Meatballs, uh, award-winning, actually. Um, then uh, I've got a uh, Branzino Livernese. Uh, Livernese style is kind of a fresher take or a lighter take on a Livernese style cooking. I have uh, the Lumache Frutta de Mare as well. It's a squid and pasta that we make in-house. The Branzino Livernese is done, traditionally you would take this and, and it would be a very thick tomato sauce and they would bake the fish in the sauce. Um, what we've done, we take blistered cherry tomatoes and fresh fennel uh, olives and capers and we saute those uh, while we're pan roasting the fish in order to put a little bit of uh, freshness to the dish or, or kind of smokiness to the dish, we make a uh, hard roasted eggplant puree. Yeah. Uh, the Popete de Fabio, 100% um, uh, Kobe beef done with uh, hand dipped ricotta cheese, a little shallot and garlic, herbs, and uh, then we serve it with uh, house-made sugo, which is our tomato sauce that we make in-house. At the end of Las Olas Boulevard, you'll find Las Olas Beach. It's the perfect spot for a beach day on the beautiful sandy shore of the Atlantic Ocean. Further north, you'll find Sebastian Beach quite relaxing and LGBTQ friendly. Both are in great proximity to hotels, resorts, and parking. Nearby, you'll also find the Rainbow Bridge, which connects Fort Lauderdale and Wilton Manors. It was created as the brainchild of the late Mayor Justin Flippin to serve as a symbol of equality and inclusion. Bonnet House was the home of artist Frederick and Evelyn Bartlett. It was built in 1920, so we're celebrating our 101st year this year. We're open for public tours Tuesday through Sunday throughout the year. Bartlett's personal art studio and on the walls as you can see it's all his original artwork. We're in the kitchen that is attached to the butler's pantry. Wouldn't it be great to have a kitchen this size? Yes. Yes, it would. Nice and spacious. Is that copper? No, that's uh, Davenport. It's a um, dessert service, and the color of it is very rare. You don't see many. No. So are 
Are there any alligators out here, Patrick? It's interesting you ask. There are not, but that's actually how the house got its name. At one time, there was a much more extensive network of waterways on the coast, and there were alligators, and they would come up under these lilies, and when they surfaced, it looked like a bonnet on the alligator's <laughs> head. So that's how we got our name, Bonnet House. Wow. Life, every day is a new beginning. One of the most memorable walks you can take is along the Fort Lauderdale River Walk. It's located along the New River in downtown. Here, you'll find shops, museums, boutiques, restaurants, and more. I'm down here on the Riverwalk in Fort Lauderdale at Salt 7, and it is Chef Paul Niederman's restaurant. Now, you might remember him as the winner of season nine on Hell's Kitchen. And the menu here is a combination of land as well as sea. So, let me get to checking this out to see what I'm gonna have for lunch. Slovaki wrap. Let's check it out. Actually, it's very pretty flavor. Mm. Delicious. I'm Khalid Thompson and I'm the co-founder and a director at Island Space Caribbean Museum. Our mission really is to bring together all of the nations of the Caribbean in one location. Uh, I, I like to refer to a friend of ours, doctor, a friend of the museum, Dr. Claire Nelson, who is the co-founder of Caribbean American Heritage Month. And she explained to me early on in this process that the Caribbean community as a concept, as a community, um, really starts to exist when you're in South Florida or New York or one of those places where you'll find groupings of us together. When people think of museums, they often think of just old things. So we do have artifacts here, but we've really presented them in a space that is very modern and sleek and inviting for people to come into. We tell here the comprehensive story of the Caribbean region, starting from the indigenous people. We talk about colonialism and emancipation, uh, all the way through our evolved identities and you know all of our traditions, carnivals, festivals, music, sports, all of the things that people know the Caribbean community for. So you can see all of that in our archive. And then we also have a gallery where we uh, change the art. We host a number of events, including our regular Caribbean Lime. Uh, lime is the Caribbean word for kind of chill and, and party and have a nice drink and have some, some listen to some music and so forth. So um, we, have, we also have events where we partner with uh, various people and organizations from our community. So there's always something fresh and new happening here, and it really is representative of the Caribbean. I do also want to say that we are the only Caribbean Heritage Museum in the world of our kind.
really grateful to Danella and her whole team for being here and we invite you to come and visit whenever you're in town. We're right here at the Broward Mall in Plantation, Florida. Island Space Caribbean Museum. In Coconut Creek, I stop by the Swirl Wine Bistro for a leisurely tasting of the restaurant's European and Caribbean infused cuisine. Also featuring a variety of craft beers and unique wines. Swirl is known for an eclectic array of dishes like oxtail ravioli or jerk chicken. All curated by husband and wife team, Chef Judith Abel and Mike Abel. This is divine. <laughs> mm. This city is on the Fort Lauderdale Water Taxi. You can get an all day pass and it allows you to hop on and hop off. So whether you wanna go and explore the shops, some of the popular attractions, go to the beaches, you can do that on the water taxi or if you just wanna sit, relax, and enjoy. Water taxi captains and crew tell you the best places to shop, eat, and play. The tour guides are very knowledgeable, sharing interesting facts along the way. Like the Harry Potter house, which was built by a wealthy millionaire as a gift to his niece. We even sailed past the Tarzan house where several early Tarzan movies were filmed. This is one of the best ways to get around and enjoy the Venice of America. Broward County's first and South Florida's largest foodie village food hall. It's also a brewery and a marketplace. It's a local spot to gather and experience the new Fort Lauderdale. From its unique food vendors to cooking classes, brewery tours, art installations, live music, and even a music production academy. Sistrunk Marketplace and Brewery really is something different. The Downtown Hollywood Mural Project is the largest walkable mural project in Broward County. Take a stroll and check out over two dozen curated contemporary outdoor murals at key locations in the heart of Downtown Hollywood. The tour is open to the public and oftentimes features muralists at work. In addition to the art, it's a great place to eat, shop, or get a few social media shots. One of the Lauderdale by the Sea's best kept secrets is the Plunge Beach Resort. This oceanfront playground offers a laid back retreat combining the retro style of South Florida shores. Here is Steve de Oliveira to tell us a little bit more about this quaint area. Uh, my name is Steve de Oliveira and I am the town's public information officer. Lord of Sea is special because um, we pride ourselves on a place where you can just come and relax. You know, the town is lucky in that we have a, a coral reef within 100 yards of the beach. So we are known as Florida's beach diving capital. So we also have a uh, uh, an historic shipwreck, the SS Copenhagen, which wrecked off the present day town in uh, May 1900. And it's actually on the uh, Florida, on the National Register 
historic places. And it's also an official uh, Florida underwater archaeological observe. You have to take a boat to get out to there, but uh, beach diving is very accessible to anybody uh, with, a, with a tank that just wants to go up in and, uh, and enjoy the scenery. That the reefs are beautiful off our tank. So it's a great place to come and relax, and you're not required to, to do anything other than go to the beach, have a drink, and go to a pub at night. Uh, it's a fun place to just sit back, relax, and, uh, and uh, let the stress just float away. Yacht Bar and Kitchen is a dining destination on the New River. Arrive by land or by sea. This waterfront restaurant offers a casual, inviting atmosphere with an uncomplicated menu featuring locally caught seafood. Like the lobster roll that is so filled with so much lobster, I can't even get a word out to tell you just how delicious it is. The next best thing to being on the water is being at yacht. Chateau Mar Golf Resort is a retro, modern boutique hotel that drew its inspiration from the building's previous lives. Once upon a time, this property was frequented by many well-known celebrities, including Jackie Gleason. The Chateau Mars ode to its historic background includes classic, throwback furniture and decor, including all sorts of fun and interesting memorabilia. This is more than a golf resort. It's a walk back in time, revisiting the colorful history of the many famous guests throughout the years. I'm Stacy Ritter, President and CEO of Visit Lauderdale, and I invite you to come on down to Greater Fort Lauderdale. From the International Boat Show to fantastic food, arts, events, and activities across 31 neighborhoods, we have something for everyone under the sun. Today I'm at the Discovery and Science Museum, where they're connecting people to inspiring science. Let's go check it out. What happened? Today I'm at the Museum of Discovery and Science, where their mission is to connect. 